Our biome is named is deciduous forest. It is mostly made of tall trees. The deciduous forest is primarily made up of trees that lose their leaves seasonally. In this clip, we will tell you about the abiotic and biotic factors that live there, also about the climate and location of where it is. The American bald eagle is named the bald eagle because when settlers came, they saw the bird and thought it was bald, so it was called the bald eagle. It nests in pine trees. The bald eagle is the U.S. symbol. Its beak is used to catch fish and capture prey such as fish, coots, and other mammals. The American black bear lacks the distinctive shoulder hump that the grizzly bear has. The black bear can run up to 25 miles per hour and can weigh up to 220 to 594 pounds. Their diet is 75% vegetation and 25% meat and fish. The black bear can grow up to 5 to 6 feet from nose to tail the black bear is very territorial if it involves her or his cubs. The black bear hibernates every year in the winter to avoid finding food. The eastern chipmunk is a brownish red color to blend into the ground cover. It eats grains, nuts, berries, seeds, mushrooms, bugs, and salamanders. It helps keep the bug population down. The duckbill platypus is found in the deciduous forests of Australia. It has fatty tissue in its tail to store energy to swim a lot better. Male duckbill platypuses have hollow spurs in its ankles to store venom. It was hunted for its fur and persecuted by fishermen. The coyote's fur is grayish tan, and they have very large ears. They eat small animals like rabbits and mice, fruit and insects. They keep the rodents' population down and sometimes overhunt. The lady fern is a thin leaf plant that refers shitty areas. Native Americans all around the world use the leaves, roots, and oil of the plant. They use the leaves to make tea and cover other berries. Also, grizzly bears and elk eat the plant as a major food source in the forest. Humans use the plant as decoration in homes. These plants adapt in the forest by growing in a circle, and as the center lady ferns die, they leave a large ring of lady ferns. This way, the ferns take over large areas. The Gelder Rose is a common flower found in the deciduous forest. It grows at low altitudes. Also, it lives in semi-shade in Scotland, England. It is found at the edges of the woods. The berries are bright red, so it attracts the birds that spread the seeds. The white outer layer of flower attracts pollinating insects to the inner part of the flower. The gelder rose will take over another plant's area. The bark is used as an herbal medicine for asthma. It is an important food source for insects and birds who eat the nectar and berries. The white oak tree is the most important tree species of the deciduous forest. The white oak grows 80 to 100 feet tall. When the tree does not get harmed, it can live 500 to 600 years old. The way the white oak is useful is it provides shade and food for the animals and insects. The oak's fruits or nuts are carried away by squirrels so a new tree can grow, or the animal eats the fruit and disposes of the seeds elsewhere. In the deciduous forest, the sun has the most important role. It gives the plants sunlight to grow and the animals warmth to live. All the biotic factors would freeze if the sun didn't exist. In the food web, the sun gives energy to the lady fern, the white oak, and the tawny milksap mushroom. The lady fern gives energy to the deer, and the deer gives energy to the bear. Also, the white oak gives energy to the European squirrel, and the European squirrel gives energy to the bear. The milksap mushroom gives energy to the dormouse, and the dormouse gives energy once again to the bear. Some long-term changes that affect the deciduous forest are people clearing the forest for ranches, farming, logging, mining, and wars. All of these cause deforestation, which is the cutting down of the forest. It is also affecting all the organisms that live there. The deciduous forest has four seasons, spring, fall, winter, and summer. Summers are mild, ranging at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Winter temperatures are cool with an average temperature of a little below freezing. The forest's climate is a mix of temperature and precipitation. The average precipitation is 70 to 250 centimeters a year. So, the three types of symbiotic relationships are commensalism, mutualism, and parasitism. Commensalism is when one species benefits and the other is neither helped or harmed. For instance, the lady fern needs shade to survive, so it lives under trees. Mutualism is when both species benefit. The eastern chipmunk and the white oak. The eastern chipmunk eats the nuts from the white oak and fertilizes the soil for the white oak. The eastern chipmunk gets a meal and the white oak gets fertile soil. Parasitism is when one species benefits 
the other is harmed. For instance, the black bear and the white-tailed deer, the black bear gets a meal and the white-tailed deer gets nothing. Deciduous forests can be found in the eastern half of North America and in the middle of Europe. There are many deciduous forests in Asia. Some of the major areas that they are in are southwest Russia, Japan, and eastern China. South America has two big areas of deciduous forests. In southern Chile and middle east coast of Paraguay, there are deciduous forests located in New Zealand and southern Australia also. In this film, you have learned about the many plants and animals that live in a deciduous forest and how they adapt to the forest. You have also learned how biotic factors react to abiotic factors. We hope you have learned a little bit more about the deciduous forest biome and enjoyed our film at the same time.